Hello everyone, it's another Wednesday and welcome to the Enoch Urban Audio Experience. As usual, my name is Enoch and I warmly welcome you to today's episode. Today I'll be taking you through a very interesting topic which is building a personal brand on social media. Social media has become a craze. Businesses are springing up on social media and making lots and lots of money. People are becoming social media celebrities and leveraging that to create income for themselves. If you are a freelancer or you are someone who is doing something for yourself building a social media brand is something that would really benefit you a lot so going forward to today's discussion i'm actually dividing this this topic into two so that's to allow you to be able to absorb the 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 information little by little so i'm dividing the topic into two the first session which is today's episode will take you through what a brand is why personal branding is important and how to audit your brand so straightforward to what the brand is I'd like you to actually think about it yourself. What what is a brand? What does a brand mean to you? Is it a big company? Is it a business? Is it an NGO? What do you think a brand is? Before you think about it, I'd like you to go with me through a few misconceptions about branding. Sometimes we think a brand is a logo. A brand is never a logo. A brand is not the, the identity marker of any organization or a company. Also, a brand is not a company name. The third one is that a brand is not about creating social media pages. Different misconceptions are so common that when people mention them, it's like, I mean, it's becoming it's becoming true for certain people. But these actually aren't what a brand stands for. To bring to your notice and your attention what a brand actually is, I'd like to give you a quote from one of the richest people in the world. He says, your brand is what other people say about you when you are not in the room. This was said by Jeff Bezos. It's a very simple definition and it has real life stories to it. But what it actually bears to the point is that, see, your brand is what people think about you. So this helped me to create my own definition of personal branding. A brand is a collection of perceptions in the mind of others. It's just a collection of perceptions, nothing more, nothing less. What people think about you, they may never tell you, but they have the freedom to tell people when you are not around. They may never tell you, but when they have the opportunity to make a decision concerning you, they know what they are going to do. They know what they are going to say. For instance, a company is employing people and you have a friend. He or she knows you and they know that you are looking for a job. You've been looking for a job for almost six months now. But they are afraid to recommend you to the company because they know that you you have this and this and this attitude. They may not tell you that, bro, because of this, your attitude, I I, I won't be able to do certain things for you. But when it gets to that particular point, they won't be able to act based on what they know. They, They rather prefer to sit down and let the job pass you by than to give you a recommendation because they know they cannot put their reputation on the line for you. Now, sometimes a brand is, 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 is more of what comes to mind when you think about people or when you see them. So, for instance, if you see someone like Mensa Otabo, you know he's a pastor, he's, he's someone who preaches and he encourages and motivates people to achieve their highest potential in life. If you see someone like Manifest, you know he's an entertainer, he creates music to entertain people and to stimulate their minds. So, these are things that are going on unconsciously in our minds. So, if you talk about the brand it actually goes straight to the psychology of what we, we, we perceive others to be and the biggest news i have for you today is that you are a brand my question is you are a brand how are you influencing your brand how are you influencing how people perceive you actually think about this question and you, you feel free to send in a voice note of what you think what you think your brand is and how people perceive you so straightforward to why personal branding is important Firstly, personal branding builds trust. A personal brand explains why in the what of a person. In short, these are the things that motivate and drive people to success. Personal branding also builds credibility. It aids a person in establishing his name as a thought leader and expert in his area of specialty. It helps in gaining recognition in their area of expertise so if you brand yourself so well people will see you as a thought leader and that will assign a certain 
credibility to your name when they are consuming anything from you they know that this is from someone we can trust is very credible the third importance of personal branding is that it creates authenticity you see personal branding comes from passion skills goals and your values so it is a result of your your hand for fulfillment and meaning this this enables people to know that you are authentic and what you are doing can be trusted the third aspect of today's episode has to do with how to audit your brand basically that is about establishing what your current state of your brand is now on social media there are certain things that you need to consider when you are auditing your brand first of all you have to consider your profile and your cover images this is because your profile and your cover images are the first things people see apart from your name the first thing they see is your picture when they click on your picture to go and see your profile your cover image is the first if these two images are not right they don't depict what you stand for you stand to lose a lot and since they are the first things you should make sure that your profile picture is definitely your picture or maybe the logo of your brand but apart from these make sure it's nothing more nothing less i see sometimes people put pictures of celebrities and all sort of things if you have something and you are building it please concentrate on it these these celebrities you are just giving them more publicity to get their their, their way of living how about you so consider this thing carefully make sure you have a very professional picture you can go to the studio pay a few cities to get a nice picture and go and upload it there give people the very good aspect of yourself on your first impression going forward the next thing you should consider is your profile or your bio text this is your unique selling point and you should make it very catchy that after people have read it they know what you stand for they know where you you are going in life so they can make certain decisions about you whether you will be very valuable to them or not now the third thing i want you to consider is for platforms like instagram and twitter which are very much focused on your handle you have to make sure that your handle is very relevant to you as a person so it's either your name or the name of your brand i think these are very simple if you are a writer or you have a stage name you can use that as well but apart from that don't use funny funny things uh, i mean they don't stand to help you in any way so these are the three things i want you to consider when you are auditing your brand your profile image and your cover images that's number one number two your profile or your bio text which is your unique selling point uh, the third one is also your handle make sure it's simple short not too long and it's it, it really relevant to what you do something like your name or your the name of your brand in a very short way if you can put into an abbreviation that would be fine it makes it easier for people to remember i'd like to also pose three key questions to you concerning auditing your brand the first question is that what is your goal you see there are so many of us on social media we actually don't have aims and goals and aspirations or anything on social media we just go there to watch people's lives watch how people are having fun and doing all of those things now you you have to consider what is your goal please if you have no goal it's, it's time you start uh, thinking about leaving social media i have a post on my website enokabangi.com why you should leave social media why you should quit social media because social media is not for everybody for all you know you are spending your data you are doing so many unnecessary things which are killing productivity in your life your work ethics so please you have to consider this thing the, the second thing you should consider is that what is your audience i mean if you have a goal let's say you're a motivational speaker or you're a marketer or you have a business you have to consider ask yourself what's my audience if i'm a motivational speaker i should be looking for people who are interested in developing themselves better these are people that i should be targeting they are my audience after you've been able to identify your audience you should further ask yourself which brings us to the third question what kind of content do they like these days quotes are very common so you should start looking at things like video according to studies this video is the future you see that platforms like facebook are making more tools to promote videos so you should be looking at these areas things that will give you the exposure that you need so quotes are common basically you should have quotes already you can start making videos by yourself use your your, your smartphone to make videos get some editing apps to edit them and, and start doing something you see sometimes we are waiting to get a very good camera we're waiting to get someone who edit them and and do all of that stuff but please you know that your current budget will not allow you to do that but you are waiting 
please <laughs> certain things cannot wait you have to start with these things and as you build more and more and more exposure you can start leveraging on them to get some income this will enable you to improve your content so this brings us to the end of today's episode uh, I've taken you through what a brand is why personal branding is important and how to audit your brand if you have any questions comments anything you want to know you can send in a voice note or reach out to me on whatsapp and i'll be very glad to respond to your questions and i'm also ready for any collaborations so remember that i release episodes on every wednesday watch out for every wednesday there will be a new episode for you to listen it's been nice talking to you and i hope that some of you send in voice messages so that it can be more interactive and not just me saying a whole lot of nothing so please it's been great talking to you and i hope this has been useful helpful and above all is going to help you to change certain things in your life so thank you for listening my name is enok wegri kabane it's been the enok kabane audio experience see you next week